Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. Hey Novi, do you have a friend or classmate who's giving back to their community? Do you know someone with a special talent? Consider nominating them for a feature on Cat's Eye News. Just scan this QR code and fill out the Google form with any important information. Uh, I'm Millen from Student Council. Uh, we just wanted to promote again the unified game tonight at 7. Uh, currently we're 145 points ahead of Northville in Rivals Week. Uh, but the game has enough points that the winner of the game will win everything. So it's super, super important to show out for our unified Wildcats. Uh, 7 o'clock tonight, bring your student ID so we can uh, cap capture your attendance and let's win. What's up, Wildcats? Just so you know, next Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday are all advisory days. On Monday during advisory, there's an OSTC session scheduled for all 10th graders and some 11th graders. That made Monday and Wednesday not traveling days. Thank you. Hosts of regionals happened last Saturday. 328 people moved on to states. And the state's competition will be happening April 26th through 29th, so good luck to everyone who made it. Band and orchestra have their solo and ensemble competitions coming up tonight at Royal Oak High School. They're competing with a scoring of 1 through 5, 1 being the best, so let's see how many 1s that we can get. Also, tomorrow, Major 6 Novi's a cappella group has a competition at Skyline High School, so make sure to cheer us on. So what's your name and grade? So my name is Jenny Yen. I am a junior and I am the communications coordinator officer for Stuka. Okay, so when is the ice skating event? So the ice skating event is going to be on February 11th. It's a Saturday, next Saturday. And the event is going to be from 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. at Nova Ice Arena. Okay. And what are some of the events at the ice skating event? So we're going to have kind of like a donation drawing for prizes and then there's also going to be like races or going to be games, there's going to be music. The ice rink is going to be pretty dim. There are going to be glow sticks handed out and the first 20 people who come will get like the big glow sticks and then also there's going to be food and then hockey team and figure skating will be there, there will be races. Okay, and where the donations go to? So the money is going to go towards Forgotten Harvest. It is a nonprofit organization that helps towards food insecurity. Wear neon when you come out to skate. It's ten dollars for admission and five dollars for rent skates. See you out there, Nova. Hey, Wildcat. On Tuesday, your girl basketball team had a favorite teacher's night. Let's see who they pick. Well, my favorite teacher is Mr. Capiano. I chose him because he was an easygoing teacher, and his jokes got me through the class. Well, I'm I'm very honored. Uh, Maya's a great person. Um, she's She's smart, she's witty, she's talented, uh, and it's a huge compliment that she would choose me of uh, all the staff that we have here at NOAA. Uh, Miss Abel, for Spanish, she made it a lot more fun. We did a lot of games, played Just Dance. Um, I think it was because we just had a lot of fun in Spanish 3 class. Um, Anna was a huge fan of our Just Dance Wednesdays. Our teacher was Miss Pendergraft. Oh, wow. And just, she's very, like, She's very personable. I can always talk to her. I feel like she's very compassionate, and like I know she has a she has a daughter in one of our schools, so I feel like that just makes her more of a mom figure. And I feel like talking to her was always super easy. I was really honored that Maya chose me as her favorite teacher. Um, I've only had Maya for one semester, but I also had her sister, so it was nice to be able to kind of have that um, full circle, and um, it just made me feel really good, and uh, I enjoyed it. They beat the number one team in their conference. Let's go have a talk with Coach Mass to see how they did. The brain game was huge for us. They were tied for first place with Salem. Um, we came in and took care of business on defense. We started off really strong, 21 points in the first quarter, um, and that just carried us through to the second half. And just playing strong, it was a tough battle against them, but we're really happy with the results. Going into Northville, it's a huge, huge win for us. Hey, Wildcats, make sure to support your girls tonight at 8. Make sure to wear your green and white. Let's go, Wildcats. Continue their six game win streak and beat Plymouth 4 2. Check out the school by Brett Reed.
What's up, Novi? Last week, the ski teams had races against Milford and Brother Rice. For the Tuesday race on January 24th, the girls lost to both of them, while the boys also lost to both of them. However, for the Wednesday race on January 25th, it was postponed. On January 27th, the girls' junior varsity team competed at the Don Thomas Cup. In it, there was a GS race where they placed 16th out of 18 teams. This week, the ski teams had races against Wald Lake Northern and Lakeland. For the Tuesday race on January 31st, the boys and girls lost to both of them. For the Wednesday race on February 1st, the same thing happened. With the combined scores of both races, overall, the girls lost to both and the boys lost to both, which is surprising as our ski teams are amazing and they they just had an off week. Great job to everyone. You'll get them next time and have a good night, Wildcat. Hey Novi, here's a quick message from one of our students. Hey Novi, it's Nick. Come to Novi Theater Apartments 1 Act Play February 6th and 7th at 7 p.m. at the high school. Entry fee is just $5. Make sure to be there. So One Act is one of our winter shows that we do. So we have three shows we do each year. And the unique thing about it is it's a competitive-based theater. So we um, work on a show. And there are certain criteria that we have to meet, such as it has to be a 45-minute show. And we also are tested based on how well we can um, set up, which is called a spike, um, and then how well we can uh, take down the set and put it in a little like area in the stage to which we can no longer touch it, which is called a uh, strike. Um, and so we we pretty much just get judged um, from like professionals, and we get an overall score of how well we executed the show, how well we just performed, and just the overall design elements. So we are doing a show called uh, These Shining Lives. Um, it's based on the story about these four girls, four women rather, um, who worked at Radium Dial Company, which was a company that um, painted, that produced and painted watches that were glow in the dark. And the way that they made it glow in the dark was they used radium. Sort of, it's a really powerful piece revolving around like justice. Okay, so we have our regionals, which is this Saturday the 4th, and then the following Saturday would be our state finals. Hey, Novi, we want to interview the event chair for the Black Student Alliance, Alicia Ville, to see what's happening with BSA this month. So the BSA, Black Student Alliance, is an interest group at Novi, so the more people that come, um, the more we are likely to be officialized as a club. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming up for February on the 7th, the 14th, the 21st, and then also the 27th, I believe. Um, we have a karaoke, karaoke night and cupcakes on the 14th, so we hope everybody can make it to that. And then every month we have um, a movie night where we just watch um, a black focus movie, like I think this month is Hidden Figures. Um, we also have a few displays at the public and our school library, so right here is um, our Black Voices display where our black students talk about what it's like to be a black student at Novi. So, you know, if anyone can come and just pay attention and look at to what our black students have to say, that would be great. Um, please stop by next week um, on the 7th so that you can be an ally. Hey Novi, just in case you forgot, we're still doing our Taylor Swift ticket giveaway that is 56 days left or 13 broadcasts. So make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing.